guys and welcome back. You want to come here? All right, come here. What? I've been having this urge to make a mini skirt out of granny squares, so that's what this week's video is going to be all about. The simplicity of this idea is that I would make all the granny squares separately and then all that's left is to sew together the squares to create the body of the skirt. So I thought briefly about making all the granny squares match and having a pretty uniform skirt. And then my too much jean kicked in, so I might have gone a little bit overboard, but I'll show you guys the yarn that I'm gonna be using. So yeah, I mean, I might have overdone it, but girls love options. <laughs> Let's get into it. So in order to create this skirt, I need to make a ton of these granny squares. My design for the skirt is to have four different alternating colors. And once I finish crocheting all of my granny squares, I'm going to go back and add a row of black to each square. To make the granny square, I'm choosing four random colors of yarn, and I'll be using a four and a half millimeter crochet hook. For the center of my granny square, I need to start off with a magic circle. So I'm gonna start by taking my yarn and crossing over, inserting my hook and pulling up the long tail. And now that I have my magic circle started, I'm gonna chain three. And now I'm adding two more double crochets. one and that's two so that chain three counts as a double crochet so now I have three double crochet in total at this point I'm going to chain three again and right back into that circle I'm going to add three more double crochet So as you can see, the square is already started. After my three double crochet, I'm going to chain three more. And right back into that circle, I'm going to add three more double crochet again. Next, I'm chaining three again. And back into that circle, three more double crochet. And from this point, I'm going to pull on my tail and tighten up that center. Now to finish off this first row, I'm going to chain three again. And I'll join the row by slip stitching into that top of the chain three. But instead of pulling through my slip stitch, I'm going to switch out colors. So I have my next color ready and I'm gonna add it to the hook. And I'm gonna pull through both loops and that's the first row to start my next row I'm going to chain four and after my chain four I'm going to add three double crochet to this first corner two, and three. Now I'm going to chain three to create my corner. 
And in the same corner, I'm gonna add three more double crochet. After creating that first corner, I'm going to chain one and add three double crochet into the next corner. One. That's two. And that's three. And just as before with the other corner, I'm gonna chain three and add three more double crochet into that same corner. That's one. Two. and three. And before we start working into this next corner, chain one and add your three double crochet again. At the corner again, chain three and add three more double crochet. Chain one and add three more double crochet into your next corner. At the corner again, chain three. And the original chain four is going to count as one of our double crochet, so I need to add two more double crochet into this corner. So that's one. And that's two. And to connect the cluster, I'm going to slip stitch into the chain three space. But just as before, instead of pulling through this original color, I'm gonna switch out from a next color. So to switch out colors, I'm gonna add my yarn and pull through both loops. And that's the second row. So with the second row, I started by chaining four, but for this third row, I'm only gonna chain three. And since my chain three counts as a double crochet, I'm gonna add two more doubles into this space. To get to this next corner, I'm gonna chain one and add three double crochet into the corner just as before. And three. And here at my corner, chain three. And go back and add three more double crochet into the same corner. To get to this space here, I need to chain one and add three double crochet. To 
to get to the next corner, chain one and add your three double crochet. At the corner, chain three and add three double crochet again. Chain one to get to this space and add your three double crochet. To get to the next corner, chain one and add three double crochet again. Add three more double crochet, what's new? After my three double crochet, I'm gonna chain one and slip stitch into that top of the chain three. And get your next color ready and pull through both of those loops. And that finishes that row. So at this point, I think you guys kind of get the pattern, but I'll show you pretty quickly how I do the last row. So just like the second row, I'm gonna chain up four. And add three double crochet. Chain one and add three double crochet. Chain my three at the corner and add three more double crochet. Chain one and add your three. Chain one and add three again. And to finish off this very last cluster here, I'm gonna add two more double crochet into this gap. And to join the row, I'm gonna slip stitch into that chain three space. And from here, you can just tie it off. And that's how I make my granny squares. So I've just completed making 12 of the squares. And as you can see, I went back and added that black border. And now I'm gonna connect all of the squares together by slip stitching in the back loops only down each row. So I'm gonna start with four squares and I'm gonna work vertically. Starting at the corner of one of the squares, I'm going to attach my yarn and I'm gonna reinsert my hook in that back loop at both corners. And to slip stitch, I'm just gonna yarn over and pull through both loops. And I'm just gonna to continue to work my way up the square only through the back loops. And once I reach the corner, I'm just gonna add on the next square. And once I reach the very end, I'm just gonna tie it off. And I'm just gonna to continue to repeat this process with both the front and the back panel. And 
And once I finish slip stitching both of the panels separately, I'm gonna repeat the same process on both edges. Now that I finished stitching together the front and the back panels, my very last step is to go in and add a few rows of double crochet along the top and the bottom.